slow down. You don't have to run. The country comes with a slogan. It's more fun in the Philippines. So now, we went to the Philippines first time in January 2018. I like it! Yeah! My dream come true! And we traveled there for about two months total. One month the first time, one month the second time. So, the country is full of more than just beautiful Instagram pictures, amazing waterfalls, and great food. But, over the past two months of us traveling in the Philippines, we have made countless, countless mistakes. It was very, very stressful. Yeah. And we've even seen the mistakes of others that have been made, and it ruined their whole trip. So, we want to tell you what you need to know before traveling the Philippines so you don't have the same mistakes that we do. So first of all, I would go for something that is a really big, serious issue, major problem right now with Philippines tourism. We didn't really realize about it that much until we get a chance to speak with locals. You see it, same like here, how to control. Yeah. And now, there's so many people, so many people yeah. coming, a hundred or thousand people every day, big income, thousands of millions of income there. But the problem but now, there, it's, the it's only two. And yes, from what they said, there are only two turtles left in Apple Island. In the past, there are way more from what he said. But as time passed by, what happened is like... Uh, people picking up and like trying to take pictures with the turtles. So just, you know, we love to show you guys everything there is and everything we do. Just if you do come here, just make sure you respect the animals. It's just like the tourism in Thailand and the elephants. You know, you gotta know what you should do and what you shouldn't do to respect the turtles. You're in their home and their environment. Just make sure you respect it. Yes, so that is the one thing that we would like to tell for the locals there in the Philippines. On to the next one. Sorry, sorry story. Now, the first day that we got to Manila, we had no clue how to get the SIM card. Yeah. We were like walking around trying to find like kind of like a phone. Like like a True or like a Verizon or some sort of cell phone store. These streets are so full of life. There's so many kids, so many people out going through the streets. Uh, we're just trying to get a, a SIM card right now, but it seems quite difficult. What does that guy say about the SIM card? Uh, he said down here somewhere on the right. That's not how it works. So we can't find in the one. Philippines. And we were like, we were freaked out because we really need to use the internet because we now have to contact the Airbnb owner for the next day. I don't see anything like I don't see anything that looks like. Cell phone. Oh, but I don't want a cell phone repair. I don't know. We'll, we'll stop there. We talked to the local, and local said. See you guys walking back and forth, back and forth. So you can just get SIM card at the Sari Sari and point there. I was like, that small store. <laughs> the thing is, you can find everywhere. So now they're literally almost on every corner, and they do look a little different. They have like metal bars over the actual counter, but they are so awesome, and they're normally connected to the front of somebody's house. So it's basically like kind of like the family run business kind of in the Philippines which is like the big cultural icon there because if you walk past that you will probably notice like people hang see, out yeah. there There's little kids, there's little kids neighbors, there. there's friends, they're all sitting around sorry sorry stores Now you might probably be thinking like what is sorry sorry why don't just call it store So now sorry sorry in Tagalog basically I don't really know Tagalog but this is some one thing that I know is that sorry sorry mean everything soap food cell phone refills toothbrushes cleaning supplies for your house so you can get I even ice candy my favorite yeah and the ice candy in the Philippines is absolutely amazing I don't really know that ice candy is in sorry sorry store as well yeah we didn't know that <laughs> until doing some research. But yeah, and also like a couple of Filipino thank you guys. You told us in the comment that so, so sad. We made this mistake. We didn't even like go and try get and ice find candy. it. <laughs> we thought it was like a hidden gem. If they tell you 
that you need a guide in the Philippines, I highly suggest you get a guide. So where we're going is either right there or right there. I'm not sure which one it is. You, you need a tour guide. It's very dangerous. We are always ones to try and save and pinch pennies and save everywhere we go. But when it comes to needing a tour guide for things like Tower Rock Cliff or other adventures off the beaten path, you definitely need a guide. We learned this the hard way. So when they say it's dangerous, just believe them that it's dangerous. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna come up here, it's definitely worth paying for a guide. I'm the stubborn one that never wants to pay for things, and uh, I'm also very, very good at climbing. And that was intense for me. It's not that the climbing was climbing was difficult, but that wasn't the hardest part. The hardest part was you didn't know what peak to go to, and I ended up like scaling around the top of a mountain to a peak behind a tree. And then like when we saw the locals on my way down, I ended up going back up with them and we walked right past that that peak and around the other mountain to the actual peak. To get to a guy for one to a guy, no matter how many people with you at that time, it's only cost you 400 pesos to get you up there. For me, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see the view like this, like Jimmy did. The reason being is that it's not like hiking for me. It's, it's more like climbing. It's not an easy. It's more climb. like climbing the mountain, and I'm not good at climbing. Or when hiking, I'm not good at it. Or when <laughs> walking, I'm not good at walking even. So for me. I don't really quite like imagine that it's gonna be that bad because I have seen a lot of people do that and from the picture I don't see it as dangerous as it would be so definitely but, that is the big mistake for me again we just finished that was incredible it's beautiful up top but I do not suggest doing that without a, a guide like I did when we were in Manila we were trying to make our way to Binondo, AKA Chinatown. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen Mark Ween's video that said the dumplings are amazing there. We you know- just always believe Mark Ween. Oh, of course. You see that face? When he ate that dumpling, we oh, said so good. we want to go to Binondo right away. Shopping there is cheap and it's just so full of culture and Chinatown is always someplace you want to see. Yes, so that's why we want to go to Binondo so bad. So and now we got off the plane and next we got to try and figure out how to get there. So the idea on taking a bus to Chinatown is a fail. Uh, they charge per person, so it's about 150 pesos per person to get on the bus, which by that point in time, me and Ta could share a grab. One hundred eighty-three to Chinatown. They actually have a grab station here at Bay Three at the airport. So I didn't know that when we first arrived here, it would have been way easier than searching for a taxi. But now that we know it, we'll never have to worry about it again. Just remember that when you first come into a country, if you don't have a cell phone and you don't want to, you know, get the SIM card at the airport, at least they have grab here. Mother Nature is something that you cannot predict. I mean, when we went to go see the dolphins, couldn't see the dolphins. As uh, it's getting high tide, so there's a change in, in waves. In, in, in some, some mm. Mm. When we went to go into Small Lagoon, or Big Lagoon, I'm not sure. It's like a combination to an A and to a C. Yeah, when we went to go to the lagoon though, the tide was too low. So the boat couldn't make it in there to the actual lagoon. So you have to swim. So we had to swim there. Just know that things do not always go as planned. So you just wanna enjoy the place, enjoy the people you're with, and enjoy the moment that you're in right now. Don't let things that you cannot control hold you down. Now, let me share with you the story of like uh, some of the friends we met in Palawan and it's like get mad because they're the same kind like us. They are budget traveler. Now when it comes to budget, you want to get the most out of the money that you pay. Yes. And of course, when they advertise the tour A, tour B, tour C, or even combination tour, they're gonna like list all the possibility of the island in the plan, in the itinerary. But you're not like, always guaranteed to make it to all of them. Yeah, but so that's why I think I want you to actually like get yourself ready to know this. 
Now nowhere did we know that there was a cleaning day. An engine cleaning day. Yeah, a day where they specifically take the boats, don't let any boats out. There's something on your name now, so there's a really uh, the ticket last night. Yeah. The original intention was love to go for a small ball. But Just to get a lot of work done and save money. <laughs> but they clean the engine every Yeah, day. every Monday there's every Monday. no boat. There's no slow boat. Every other day there's a slow boat. So the difference in cost is uh, like 500 pesos, so it's 1,200 pesos for the slow boat, which takes six hours. And then there's like 1,760 pesos for the fast boat, which takes four hours. So we're gonna be there in four hours, which is the only option we had. We did not always do that, but sometimes living on the edge of your seat is the best part of it. So it's like with over 7,000 islands in the Philippines, it's like definitely the geography of each island is totally different from yes. what we experience. And a lot of islands, like there is a lake in the island, sub lake in the dead lake in the island, and the island <laughs> in that lake is so, so confusing. And each lake and island in that lake, island things is totally give different characteristic. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to go to like some place that's like super remote is you can find that at Happy Beach. Just a coincidence that it's Happy Beach. Again? What's the name of this beach? Katlao. <laughs> Katlao. Happy Beach. Happy. Happy Beach. Happy Beach. Happy Beach. We just got to Katlao Beach and wow. They I can't can. believe there's nobody here. It's got a nickname as the Happy Beach. For example, if you want to go to Sandbar, something like really, really like a beach set up in the ocean. I mean, like I'm talking about, you have to take a boat to that beach because it's in the ocean. And that is like in Manjuyoto. If you want to go to somewhere which like a lot of glitter, how can you describe this kind of color? Like crazy 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 blue like, like the craziest blue i've ever seen in the water <laughs> southern part of Cebu island is perfect or like swimming version in the Oslo, or like even some volcanic island can you imagine that this is in apple island so if you walk on here along the beach you will see um there is like different kind of like a sharp rock like a, a volcano rock the rock that has like a hole all around and it's pretty sharp jimmy got cut like all over on his feet that that's why out. really important you like have to buy that you have to get them all right, thank you for watching, guys. We really hope you enjoyed this, and we really hope that this helps. Now, whether you're a pro traveler or this is your first time abroad, everybody makes mistakes while traveling. But we just hope that you can understand to ask for help if you need help. That is the number one tips that I would probably give to anybody that like ask for the advice in the Philippines because as a first timer in the Philippines I know that they probably gonna be like so crazy crazy different of the bit and part and things now one thing about Filipino that we can't mention enough is that they are friendly they are helpful and they speak good English so they're always there for you if you need them this guy is like just went down to top up his money back and then just make a call for us so just don't be afraid to ask don't be afraid to ask them at all with anything we save a lot of times a, a lot, lot of money, money by filipinos and thank you so much if you are watching this video we really appreciate everything you did to us and everything now you did for us to us or for us for us <laughs> okay everything you did for us so if this is your first time watching and you wanna see more about the Philippines, just check the description box below. There's plenty of more information on the plenty Philippines below. Contents. And make sure you subscribe and stick around because we have a big trip coming up and we'll be traveling to Mexico City in October. And also to the South India after that as well. 